Hi friends, in this session we study about the addition. First, I would like to explain you what is addition. Addition is a mathematical operation that represents the total amount of objects together in a collection. It is signified by the plus sign. Uh, look at in this picture, in this first bucket we have three apples, one, two, three. And in the second bucket we have two apples, one and two. If you have to find out the total number of objects or the total number of apples we have, we transfer these two apples in this uh, cylindrical bucket and these three apples also we transfer in this cylindrical bucket. So how many apples we get here in this bucket? So we count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 apples we have. So we have total 5 apples uh, together. So here you see uh, 3 apples plus 2 apples is equal to 5 apples. Uh, now I would like to explain you one of the most important characteristic of addition. Uh, here you see there are three mangoes we have uh, and two apples we have. So how many mangoes we have? Uh, total how many mangoes? So if the units are not same, if the quantities are not same, so we cannot add it up. It should be in the like terms. So we could say the like units would be there. The three mangoes and two apples. So we cannot say that here are five mangoes or uh, five apples. We cannot say this three plus two is not five here. So we cannot uh, put uh, one of the because the units are different. Here are the three mangoes, here are the two apples. The unit are different, so we cannot add it up. So we cannot say that the three mangoes uh, plus two apples is five mangoes. We cannot say this thing. It could not be defined in this way. Also, we cannot say it is five apples. We cannot say this thing. It cannot be defined. But if we say we have three fruits here and two fruits here, so how many fruits we have? So we could easily uh, reply we have five fruits total. Uh, we have five fruits. So in this way you could explain if the units are same we could add it up. If the units are not same we could not add it up. So the main characteristic of addition the units must be same. Now I explain you with another example. Here you look at here in this example. Uh, we have here uh, two boys. and three girls so how many girls are there we have to explain so we cannot say that the five girls are there huh. if we have to say how many students are there how many persons are there so we could explain it there are two person there are three person so we have one two three four five persons here so uh, two boys plus three girls if the units are not same so uh, two boys is also students we could write here students we have two students here and three students here so we have five students here so in this way we could explain the unit must be same if the units are not same we cannot add up the quantities now finally i would like to explain one very interesting thing the addition table it's very interesting and very magical table uh, we are going to develop here so first of all i write here is one we have written the number on the top uh, row you see one two three four five so up to nine we have written here in the vertical column we have also written the number one to nine so what we have to we have to keep it continue we have to write the consecutive numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here also so i write down here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 in this way we could write this now here is 2 so the after 2 there is 3 then 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 here also after 3 you get 4 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Here also 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Here you see 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here you see 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. 
here you see 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 here 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 here you see 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 so here you see we have completed this table now i explain you this addition table how it works look at here if you have to make 1 plus 1 is 2 look at here and 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so we, we get here if you have to find out uh, the number 5 plus 7 look at here 5 and 7 in this table so you will get here 12 here is 7 and this one is 5 so you can find out the summation of both the numbers 5 plus 7 if you have to find out 9 plus 8 9 plus 8 so look at here 9 and 8 is here 17 look at here 9 and here you take from 8 8 plus 9 is 17 so in this way you could easily add up the numbers with the help of this table you can find the numbers what would be the summation of the numbers up to 1 to 9 if you have to add up the numbers of single digit number if you have to add up then you could you could uh, follow this table and you could easily make this table i have explained to how to make this table basically so it's very easy we could determine any number if you have to find out the 4 plus 5 so here you take 4 and here you take 5 it is 9 also if you take 4 here you will get the same answer 4 you are taking here 5 you are taking here you will get 9 here also so the same thing you will get here because the diagonal is always same here all the in this session we have studied how to add up the numbers how we get the numbers how we add two numbers so i explain you more about this now if you have to add 2 plus 7 uh, without this table if you have to add so 2 then we count after 2 there are 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we get here 9 so you always get the positive and we are adding the natural numbers both the numbers are positive so the addition will would always be positive here so in the next session i will explain you how to add the integers how to add the rational numbers how to add the irrational numbers I explain in the next season. Thank you.